Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 49 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we learned how to add, remove and rename attributes into the table using migration. In this video, we will learn how to change the column type for an existing attribute in an existing table in Rails. Okay, so to change a column, we need to use change column method just like add column, remove column and rename column. So here is the syntax you can see on the screen that uh, it will call the change column method which accept three arguments. First one is the table name into which you want to change the attribute and the attribute the attribute which you want to change and the type uh, argument uh, it is the type which you want to change attribute to. Okay. Now so this is the method uh, which we will use to change an existing attribute and this looks like this okay so when you generate a model okay when you generate a migration sorry then uh, in the change method you can do like this uh, change column demos description and text but uh, at the heading you can see that i have written don't do this okay why because uh, we need to be careful for uh, generating migration for changing column type why because change column is not reversible in nature okay and you need to make this migration reversible manually okay so let's try to understand how why i am saying this that a change column is not reversible in nature okay so let's generate the migration first okay let's clear the console now uh, first look at the table into which we change the type of attribute okay we have a demo table in our schema okay and in demo table we have two attributes name and description so we will change the type of description from a string to text so let's generate the migration Tails g migration change type of in demos okay. so when you generate this migration you will see a file where we will add uh, values manually that what we gonna change okay so we will mention here now in this change method just like uh, our syntax we need to add change column then table name then uh, attribute name and the type of the attribute that we want to change so now in change method you need to write change column okay. and then table name demos now the attribute name description and now the type that we want to change from string okay so currently the type of description in the demo table is a string and after running this migration this will convert the type of description to text oh sorry right here text now run this migration else db migrate okay and this migration works successfully now if you open the schema file and you will see the type of the de description attribute in demo table is still text a is converted to text okay so far so good okay everything is fine here but the problem arise when you roll back this migration okay why because uh, you have mentioned a type text here so it will convert the existing type to text but when you roll back this okay it will not identify that what was the previous type because we cannot uh, allow the uh, four attributes here so we cannot allow the previous uh, type of that attribute here okay now when you run roll back this migration else db roll back now you will see the error okay here you can see the error let's scroll this okay that this error is caused by active record irreversible migration and in you can clearly see here that 
this migration use change column which is not automatically reversible or we can say that change column migration is uh, irreversible in nature okay now to make the migration reversible you can either define up and down method in place of the change method or use the reversible method to define reversible behavior okay now this is the error we see we saw now we will first try this solution okay we will uh, add reversible block for uh, make this migration completely reversible okay so in the change method we need to make here changes like let's first copy this command okay and now look at this reversible do dir dir dot up and then do yeah, you can do this and and the down you can use the previous step that was a string okay and the up is for running the migration and down is executed when we roll back the migration okay now if we save this and let's first make this syntax with here okay so we made this change and now when you reverse this migration or oh, sorry roll back rails db roll back okay. and now uh, you can see that it is change it is converted to a string again open the schema and look at the demos table so it was again converted to a string from text now when you run this migration this will be migrate you will see this will be converted again to text okay now it is text and when you roll back again it will be converted to string back okay, so you can see here now so this uh, was the one solution for creating change column migration the another solution is for using def up and def down up and down methods where up is used for uh, running the migration and down is used for rolling back the migration or roll backing the migration so we will try with this way as well so now let's remove this here okay and use def sorry just use def up and in def down copy this text and create another method and name it as def down and in the dev down change it to string back okay now now you can see that uh, the type of uh, a string column a description will use a string now okay type of description is a string now now when you run this migration it will change the type of description to text and when you roll back this it will take it back to the string so let's run this migration rails db migrate now you can see here that it is converted to text now okay and when you roll back this migration this db roll back and you can see it is again converted it to a string so let's check this in schema.rb okay so it is converted to a string so for now we have to rename it so let's uh, uh, we have to change the column so let's uh, run this migration again is db migrate and it is converted to text again okay so that's it now you can write migration for changing the column type but you must remember that it should be reversible okay so that's all from this lecture but now it's the time to see questions okay so the 
very basic but important questions uh, regarding this migration is that how to change type of existing column in a table in rails so we can use change method inside the migration and then we can change the type of an existing column or existing column in table in rails okay now how change column method works and how many arguments it can accept so change column method in you can see in the migration it will take three arguments first argument will be the table name and second argument will be the attribute name and the third argument will be the type of uh, that argument that we want to change okay and the change column method will take these arguments and change the type of the attribute into the table and the another method is why change column migration is not automatically reversible it is not reversible in nature because when you use def change method for changing the column type and when you roll back it because sometimes you might need uh, for a migration to be rolled back over the time so it will not find the its previous type or what was the type of this attribute before uh, we change its type so that's why you will get uh, a re reversible error when you roll going to roll back the migration and how can you make a change column migration reversible so this answer is very simple we can use either this way def up and down methods or we can make reversible block inside the def change method and then we can make a change column migration reversible so that's all from this lecture and thanks for watching this let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe